Hey, what's up? You're watching Twisted TV. My name is Vin, and today we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Nike Lens 12mm f2.8. Let's start the unboxing. What do we have inside? Once you open the box, you get to see this thingamajig trash battle and they still have a free bag. Ha! Take that other lens manufacturers. This now I appreciate this because other lens manufacturers do not give out free bags. This just even though the quality is not that thick, I appreciate the gesture because come on, it's a free bag. Trash. Warranty card. Microfiber cleaning cloth. And last but not the least, the lens itself. And there you have it, the 12mm. I'm so used to using a Canon, Canon camera that I think all the lenses of the Sony are so small. It's a 12mm. Do you know what a Tokina 11 to 16 is? This is 12mm, a 2.8. I have attached the pedal. Unlike the 50mm, this one has the clip lock in front of the camera. Where you just press the button to clip it out. Okay, so I'm going to be testing this with the Sony A6400. First things first, get the camera, take out the cheap lens, remove the lens cap. And once again, it has a red mark at the bottom. Red dot connects with the white dot. Once it connects, you just have to twist it. That's it. So, mind you, this is a full manual lens. It's basically the same as the 50mm that we have from Nike as well. You can change the aperture, but the thing I like about this lens is that it clicks when you change your aperture. Check this out. I don't know if you can hear that one, but it definitely clicks. And if you look in the viewfinder, if you look through the viewfinder, you don't need to change your settings to change the aperture. You just have to twist this one. You don't have to manually push it in the buttons that you have. Yes, Arthur. 22 and F2.8. And there you have it. And the other ring is for focus. Um, another thing I like about this lens is that has a red ring so it makes it look premium. So the only thing that this lens lacks is the optical stabilization the, or the OSS. So if you're going to be using a Make You lens, make sure that you operate on a gimbal or a tripod that has a fluid head you can also use a ball head. But of course it's better if it's a fluid head moves smoothly and moves, you know, it's just for, it's great for videos. But the quality of this lens is awesome. It's crispy. It could not be comparable to other high-end uh, Cine lenses or G Master Zeiss lenses. But for 9,499 pesos, you have an awesome, crispy, wide lens. Great for gimbals great for photography and pretty much great for everything this is also great for vlogging so guys i hope you enjoyed that unboxing videos if you like this video hit like if you want to see more videos about tech and media production hit subscribe you can also click the bell icon to be notified if we have new content once again this has been of twisted tv thank you for watching